As some of you might know, I tend to go down rabbit holes. When it comes to the split ergonomic alternate layout keyboards, I'm probably about 80% of the way there. For the past year, I've been running this Chalkify 36 key keyboard in Colmac DH layout, and I've been very much enjoying it. I say 80% in that I've never printed like a custom layout that fits my hand perfectly. Uh, that may be coming this year, who knows, don't quote me on that. But the other thing that I've never done is I've never 3D printed keycaps. Um, I know that that is a huge part of the, the hobby, we'll call it, and I've just never done it. I don't have a 3D printer. Don't know really where to start. I know there are like 3D printed libraries and stuff out there that you can just literally go onto GitHub and pull down source and print your keycaps, which is insane, what a world we live in. Just never done it. So when Loic from 3D Keycap reached out and said, Josh, I like your content. Can I send you a set of keycaps? I said, let's do it. 3D Keycap offers numerous types of MX, chalk, whatever keycaps you're really looking for. And they also customize them to, to whatever your specifications are. They sent me a set of Lame, the KLP Lame. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Uh, keycaps because I've I've had my eye on them. I, I saw Wolfgang did a video on his custom, uh, to, what was it, a uh, totem keyboard, and he did the KLP Lames on it, and I thought that that was pretty cool. They, they kind of like keep your hand on a home row, and then your like sculpted keycaps on the top and the bottom allow you to just really type nicely. So they are in this box. We're going to open this box, and we're going to see what uh, what we're working with. So they're printed with resin, and these look like the saddle KLP uh, keycaps. I know that there's a couple variations. There's also the uh, tilted, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the tilted for the top and bottom rows on your keyboard. They also have, actually, they have a thumb, a 1.5U thumb too. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put them on the keyboard. We're gonna take these. These are, I'm not exactly sure which keycaps these are uh, on the default, my, de my default keycaps as we'll call them. But yeah, we're gonna do that also. Also, <laughs> this is a bit of a surprise. They actually printed my logo for my blog. I don't know if you can see that, if it's gonna focus onto one of the keycaps. So that's also very cool. Thank you guys. I'm gonna put them on the, the uh, Chalkify. I'm gonna run them for a couple of days and I'm gonna see how they feel. And then we're gonna revisit this in, uh, in a couple of days when I can give you a better sense of how I'm liking the, uh, the sculpted keycaps. So catch you, catch you then. So I've been using these keycaps for the last month and a half, two months. I don't know if you can see this as it focuses, you'll see, get my face out of there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so much for a couple of days. I'm really liking them. They are a mainstay on my keyboard. They've been on here since I put them on in the video. Um, the only thing is, is that I moved, as you can see from the new setup here, I moved and I, traveled with the keyboard in a uh, case. In that case, the keyboard keys were being pressed 
against each other like this. And um, I'm not sure if they're more delicate than the PBT or whatever the other one shot key caps that I previously was using, but I had a couple snap off actually. And I had some of the stems actually get stuck in the, um, the chalk uh, switch so much so that I actually couldn't remove it and I had to buy a couple new key switches. Now, I don't know if that's the keycaps or if that's just me being a little bit too violent with them. I do know that resin's a little bit more delicate than some of the plastics, but I also know that Trudy keycap is printing uh, in a new style of resin that's coming out in the next couple months. So maybe that's an issue, maybe it's not. For me, it was, I think it was user error, but at the end of the day, I really love the keycaps. Like these have been on the keyboard for the last, like I said, month and a half, two months. They are, they've probably sped up my typing by a good five words a minute as well. Um, I don't know if that's just because I'm getting better at typing in Colmac or what it is, but they do seem to, as you can see, just how they are sculpted. You can see that the, um, it's a lot shorter travel between the top and the bottom. So I think that uh, that may be playing a bit of a role in my, uh, in my typing speed. They're very comfortable. As soon as you put your fingers on them, you're like, oh, this feels very nice. So shout out to 3D Keycap for sending these out. Um, if you guys wanna go check them out, I'm gonna have a link in the uh, show notes. And um, they have multitudes of different keycaps. They have stuff for MX, chalk, um, there may even be one other switch on there, but uh, a Canadian company, so go support them and uh, check it out. I was talking about potentially doing a custom keyboard this year, and it's something that I'm really I'm striving towards because I really like the Chalkify. I love the column, columnar stagger. I don't even know how to say that word properly. And I think that it's really good. The only thing is that this thumb cluster is a little bit too tight for me. Uh, my hands are a little bit like wider than it. So something with a little bit more splay on the um, thumbs would be interesting as well as some pinky splay. I know that um, there's a couple of these like super niche esoteric um, keyboard uh, repositories that have that. And I'm like, this is something to think about. So I am looking into doing a custom board and these keycaps will probably be following me to that a new board if I do do so. But if you have any suggestions in the comments, post them because I'm interested in doing something like, um, I'll post a couple of the uh, layouts that I'm looking at, but I was looking at like, there's like a Ferris sweep um, rendition. There's some something called like the A ducks. Uh, the, only, the only things that I really want are, I want it to be wireless and Bluetooth. Uh, I want columnar stagger, uh, 36 to 34 keys, totally fine. And, uh, yeah, I want the, I want the thumbs a little bit more splayed out. Actually, there's a, there's a layout called the Das Bob that, uh, looks pretty, pretty intriguing. The only thing is it's, I don't believe it's wireless. So, uh, yeah, post in the show notes. If you have any suggestions, go check these guys out for their keycaps. Um, and don't travel with them the way that I did and squeeze them together. That's my fault. I think, um, and yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. God bless as always. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, last thing too, is I actually made a post about this. I just have this on the screen right now, a post about it on my blog. So if you want to go read this in the uh, written word format, go and check it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Take care.